Hi everybody, welcome to Glow with Grace. We are in a different setting today with a different camera and a very fancy microphone. So we hope that you can hear us. And we have a very special guest today to complement all the very special things. And that is Mr. Matthew Monarch, who happens to be my husband. And I'm so excited to be back on the Girly Girl channel and I have no idea what is going down. She's just smiling and has, she's doing something here. So let's see what's going on. Well, the very special um, interview that we're going to be doing today is going to be a singing interview with Mr. Matt Monarch. Singing? <laughs> like I'm going to sing? So we have a few questions for you and... I believe I can fly. <laughs> and you've got to answer everything by singing. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. Hey. <laughs> There's really good acoustics in here. It's a good place to do it. Okay. okay. Why, well, I had to sing? Like, really? Yeah. Is there a reason? Bye bye. It's a singing interview. All right. Okay. <clears throat> we have 10 questions. Here we go. If you could live anywhere else in the world, except for where you are right now, where would you go and why? And you have to sing the answer. But I could talk the question. No! <laughs> I got to sing everything. Yeah. <laughs> you should have been singing right there. What a question. <laughs> where would I want to live when I live in paradise? Where else would it be? We've been a lot of places together. All around the world. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say the United States or Europe. Europe's a big place. Where? Where in Europe? <laughs> yeah. Don't you have to sing too? No. It's a musical for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> no? So I'm just the one that looks like an idiot. <laughs> bye bye. Never mind, next question. If you could be any other animal, who would you want to be and why? There is no other animal that I would rather be than a human. But if I had to choose something over that, it would be a spirit. Oh, a spirit. And you're already a spirit in a human form. Yeah. So it would be a spirit without a human form. Oh. Okay. Who is your biggest inspiration? You have to really sing. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest inspiration. Is that really singing? <laughs> you have to make a nice melody. Is God. 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 Why? Because he is the only perfect being righteous as can be and i am so blessed we are so blessed to have such the <laughs> um would you rather drink a brandy or a coke oh does it matter how much or how much it would be the same amount of either and what would that quantity be two ounces no one ounce one ounce two ounces of what Soda. Okay. And what is your biggest fear? God. <laughs> is your biggest inspiration and your biggest fear? Yes. <laughs> Why your biggest fear? Because he controls. He is my breath my blood, my skin, my mere existence. And if I don't try my best, he can choose what is next. He can take everything away in a second. Yeah. Um, when was the last time that you felt jealous? 
The answer is right now, because I am the only one who's singing, and she gets to talk like a normal person. <laughs> um, if you could swap your car for a tank permanently, would you do it? Yes! <laughs> and what would you do with the tank? Play in it, drive it around. Would you let children sit on it? Yes! <laughs> What's the funniest thing that you've seen so far today? Why did you ask a question about a tank versus a car? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> What's the funniest thing that you've seen so far today? Today? The funniest thing I've seen so far today. <laughs> Sing loud, Baba. They can hear me because I've got a little mic. Oh. Musicals are whispered. <laughs> Or they can be loud. <laughs> and by the way, I have no singing experience. This is all novel and unique and fascinating. If you want to book me, let me know. <laughs> the funniest Waiting. thing I have seen today is the ostrich feeding from Araya's hand as I protected. And then we gave her leaves, and the ostrich has such beautiful precision and divination. Just went off. <laughs> and her eyes said, More, mas, mucho. So we got more, mas, mucho. <laughs> Lovely. Um, <clears throat> what's been the biggest addiction that you've experienced in your life? The biggest addiction in my life is this beautiful <laughs> goddess right here. Well. The aroma, the smell, <laughs> you just can't get enough. Last question. What do you think you would be doing if you weren't a raw food superstar like you are right now? If you stopped doing all this, what would you be doing? If I stopped doing this, what would I be doing? Whatever I was told. Maybe you'd be an ostrich jockey. An ostrich jockey it is. <laughs> you could get a head start here. Okay. All right, thank you very much for participating in this very special singing interview, thank you. Did I really sing like <laughs> you said? Do you have any final thoughts for the nice people? Singing. <laughs> singing final thoughts. My final thoughts are next. Since we are on a Glow With Grace channel, with all the lovely ladies and boys who want to learn about raising children, the number one thing to get in preparation, nice young men, are earplugs. They can save your life. You can get some sleep. While the mama and baby are screaming and crying. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. Mr. Monarch's piece of final guidance for you all is to buy some earplugs. I wish I could totally concur with I actually was also addicted to earplugs when I was growing up. So there we have it, nice full circle. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs>